Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Um, uh, in this video, we're gonna show you a demo uh, how to create a Java Bean in our class, right? In our uh, project, okay? So here, uh, I already have a package and uh, the source code is in GSP Actions demo because we're gonna continue use that to have a demos for GSP in action, which is the last one gonna be the Java GSP USB. So here I will create a class called a person. Okay. And uh, we want to follow the, uh, what's the, the specification, okay, or convention. First, it has to implement serializable. Okay, this is a marker interface. See here? Oh, this one, this, this is, see here? This interface doesn't have any, uh, what's the, uh, abstract method. It's, if you, like, um, you can serialize uh, in memory object and then save into a file. And then after that, you can read the file, deserialize. You can get the object uh, again, and all the state is in the file. I suppose uh, if you want to transfer, uh, you have a uh, two server and you need to transfer the object from one server to another, okay, or from one GRE to another GRE, how can you transfer? Because it's in memory. You can serialize that object, then you can transfer, okay. Private string, we have a first name and a private string last name okay uh, the property accessor must be private okay uh, and then suppose i have a public person string oh, sorry first name string last name and then they start first name equals they start last name and also they start, oh sorry, oh my God, what I'm doing. First name and they start last name <laughs> equals last name, okay, sorry. And uh, as we know, if we uh, have the customized uh, constructor, then the default structure, the default constructor is the constructor with uh, no arguments. It doesn't, uh, it's not existing anymore. If we don't have, by default, it's gonna have a, a non-argument constructor there, okay? So if you have your customized, you must, okay, define the no-argument constructor here, okay? You must, okay? And another thing is uh, you can also, pro you have to provide the getter setters, okay, based on what you want. But uh, in this case, suppose uh, when we're using uh, GSP use bin, okay? GSP use bin, okay, we're always using the default constructor. If you don't provide a way to setter, then all of them gonna be none, okay? So uh, for getter setter, I will using the ID to generate for us, okay? Getter setter, then this is the one. Then let's take a look at again, okay? So here, three requirements, implement serializable, I did, okay? Default construct, oh sorry, non-argument constructor, I have. And getter setters for my properties, I also have. So now person is what? Person is a, hmm hmm, person is what? Person is a Java bean, okay? And I will write another one, okay? Employee. Employee, I will extend from person, okay? I also want my employee to be a serializable. I will also implement a serializable. Uh, sorry, I also want my employee to be a Java bean. So you also need to implement the serializable. And in the person, uh, sorry, in the employee, we will have a new uh, attribute, which is uh, employee need to work. When they work, they have a salary. Okay, and here we will also provide the getters and the setters, get generate getter setters for this one. Okay, so yes, uh, 
employee uh, uh, Java Bean? Yes. Okay. Employee implements serializable. Okay. Employee has a default non argument constructor because I don't have customized, so it's gonna have a default one. Okay. And the employee's uh, property is a private, and we have a getter and a setter for that. Okay. So now we define two uh, Java bin, and we will use uh, for next video. Okay. Uh, probably next next video probably a theory. Okay. Uh, anyway, we will use them in GSP use bin. Okay. Uh, thank you, and uh, see you in next video. Bye bye.